In this video, we're going to demonstrate the new feature inside the uh, dialog component when you're editing uh, JavaScript code uh, to automatically use Action JavaScript to do complex um, actions and have the JavaScript written for you automatically by uh, the genie. So let's take a look at this uh, simple example over here uh, in which we've got a uh, drop-down box that's got the names of three different components and we'd like to um, let the user select an item in the drop-down box and then press this button to open up the grid. So currently when I press this button, all that I'm going to do is just echo back the value in that control. So if we go look at the button right now, we can see that the button right now is just simply calling a JavaScript function called open grid. Uh, and if we look at the JavaScript function, all that um, open grid does right now is read the value in that control and then alert it back. But what we would like to do is uh, put in uh, code that says uh, if the uh, user selected um, grid 1, then we'd like to open that grid. Otherwise, if the user selected grid 2, etc. So let's go and take a look now at how we can do that. So the first thing that we're going to do is go and uh, define uh, some JavaScript actions here. So let's go there and uh, we'd like to define an action right now and we'll call this one, um, uh, let's see, um, action 1 and uh, we turn that off and now let's go and actually define this action. So we'll go here and we'll say this is going to open a grid and let's go and choose the grid that it's going to open and we'll choose um, uh, say the customer's north wind grid over there. So go ahead and close that and then save it and uh, let's actually rename this as uh, customer underbar north wind. So click OK and then click OK. So now at this point we've just defined a new JavaScript action and now we would like to call this action if the value of name is equal to um, that um, customer's north wind. So let's go quickly to uh, working preview and we can see there customers underbar NW is going to be the value and when it is equal to that we'd like to call that action. So now we're going to go back over here and we're going to say if name equals equals customers underbar NW then we'd like to run an action. So we go here now and we'll say insert code to run that particular action. Then the other actions that we'd like to um, run uh, haven't yet been defined but let's go and get the uh, values, the possible values in that control. So we'll go there, sorry not that, uh, we want to go to the drop down and choose um, the choices in the drop down. Let's just copy this to the clipboard and then go back to our uh, JavaScript function. So now what we'd like to do is we'd like to say that if um, the name is equal to, we've already handled that case, let's go here and handle this case now. Um, then we'd like to call um, an action that we're going to name as that and then finally uh, if the name is equal to, to um, oh, I've got the wrong one there, so is equal to um, customer linked, okay, I've made a mistake here, just hold on for one second. Okay, so there, there it is right now. So here are the three possible cases that we want to test for, and in each case we want to run the appropriate action. So at this point I've defined this first action, but I haven't yet defined these two actions. So let's go back now and uh, define this action using the exact same technique. So I'm going to uh, pause now, um, uh, copy this to the clipboard, and then uh, pick this up in the uh, next video. So we're continuing now, and we need to now go and define this action that we've called customer linked grid. So let's go there and create a new action, and we'll call it a customer. Oh, oops. Um, customer linked grid. Uh, is that the right name? Customer link grid. Okay, so 
rename customer linked customer link grid and then go and actually define the action for that so open a grid and uh, customer link grid over there and um, click OK and uh, so now we've defined our second action so we've got to find two actions right now we haven't defined the third action but I'm going to leave the third action undefined right now because uh, it's not necessary to make the point here so let's uh, save this now go over to working preview select um, the first item in the drop down click the button and there's the uh, action that has run click the second item in the button and there's the uh, running of the action so the third action here has not been defined so I would expect nothing to happen when I do that so going back to design mode what we can see here is that we've been able to write our own freeform JavaScript but at the same time take advantage of action JavaScript to write complex code for us so this uh, single line over here is going to expand into a, uh, a fairly complex uh, script at runtime. So if I actually go into uh, Action JavaScript here and I edit an action and I go here and um, edit this action and then right click and say View JavaScript, I can see that, that in actual fact this is all the JavaScript that got written for me that is basically being automatically called um, uh, for me when I uh, uh, execute this line of JavaScript over here. So this ability to use Action JavaScript inside the JavaScript code editor is very powerful because it lets you have it take you know take advantage of the ability to write arbitrary freeform JavaScript, but still take advantage of uh, Action JavaScript genies uh, that write a lot of JavaScript for you. So I hope that you find this interesting. Thank you very much.